In this example, we're given the parametric equations of a plane curve and then asked to find dy dx and then also the equation of the tangent line at the given value of t. Well, to find the equation of the tangent line, we'll have to find the slope of the tangent line, which we can find by evaluating dy dx at t equals pi over two, but we'll also have to find the point of tangency. Let's start by doing that. To find the point of tangency, we'll substitute t equals pi over two into the parametric equations. So we would have x equals cosine pi over two plus cosine two times pi over two, which would just be pi. And then the y coordinate would be equal to sine pi over two plus sine two times pi over two, which again would just be pi. Now let's find our trig function values. For review, here's a graph of y equals cosine x, and here's a graph of y equals sine x. Notice that cosine pi over two is equal to zero, and cosine pi is equal to negative one. So the x-coordinate would be zero plus negative one or negative one. And then for the y-coordinate, we have sine pi over two plus sine pi. We can get the graph of sine x. Notice how sine pi over two is equal to one and sine pi is equal to zero. So we have one plus zero, which equals one. So the point of tangency, which we'll use to find the equation of the tangent line, would have coordinates negative one comma one. And now let's find dy dx, and because we have parametric equations, remember dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. So dy dx, again, is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt, and here's y. So dy dt will equal cosine t plus the derivative of sine two t requires the chain rule, so the derivative would be cosine two t times two, or two cosine two t. And then for dx dt, the derivative of cosine t with respect to t would be negative sine t. And then for the derivative of cosine two t, again, we need the chain rule, so we'll have negative sine two t times two or minus two sine two t. And now to find the slope of the tangent line, we'll evaluate the derivative at t equals pi over two. So we'll have cosine pi over two plus two times cosine two times pi over two or pi divided by negative sine pi over two minus two sine pi. Well, cosine pi over two we know is equal to zero. Cosine pi is equal to negative one. So the numerator would be two times negative one or negative two. The denominator would be negative sine pi over two, which would be negative one, and then minus two times sine pi, which is zero. So we have negative one. So the slope of the tangent line, or the derivative at t equals pi over two is equal to two. So again, this tells us the slope of the tangent line is equal to two. And now we have all the information we need to find the equation of the tangent line, because we now know the slope of the tangent line is equal to two, and the tangent line contains the point negative one, one. So now we can find the equation using point slope form of a line with the form y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So we'd have y minus y sub one, which is positive one, equals m, which is two, times the quantity x minus x sub one. Notice x sub one is negative one, so minus negative one becomes plus one. Let's go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form, so we'll clear the parentheses and then solve for y. 
So we have y minus 1 equals 2x plus 2. Add 1 to both sides, and we have y equals 2x plus 3. So this would be the equation of our tangent line. Now let's go ahead and verify this graphically. If we graph the parametric equations, we have this red plane curve, and t equals pi over 2 corresponds to our point of tangency here, which we found had coordinates negative 1, 1. And then we found the equation of the tangent line to be y equals 2x plus 3. Notice how this tangent line does have a y-intercept of positive 3. And if we start at the point of tangency, because our slope is positive 2, or 2 over 1, notice if we go up 2 and write 1, we have another point on the tangent line, verifying that our equation is correct. I hope you found this example helpful.